Hello everyone, this is Amy and Christina um, from Upscales Classic Dragons and Dreaming of Dragons. Um, we're going to be doing some egg cutting today, but not for your typical reasons. Um, Christina recently has gotten into breeding her own uh, ball pythons, and I'll let her do, um, do the explaining here on these eggs and what we're doing, um, but we're going to actually be cutting them a little bit early. So since, since this was the first clutch that we've ever had of ball pythons, there's still a lot of things that we've been learning. Um, we found the eggs probably several days after our um, female had laid the eggs, and uh, they were a little bit dried out when we found them. So we put them in the box and put them in the incubator, and uh, we didn't know that moisture would escape through the lid. The lid was really not tight even though it has these little latches um, so we ended up losing a lot of moisture and our eggs got really dehydrated so um, so far we've seen veins and we've seen movement in the eggs but uh, we did a little bit of surgery on them um, a little while ago and well we're gonna cut them now and hopefully there's something moving inside and yeah, like we said, this is this is our first clutch of ball python eggs, and we still have a lot to learn. So, um. and uh, we learned a lot from Colleen at Moab Dragons and Exotics. Um, she basically told us what to do. Told us that we should go ahead and slit the eggs and add a little water, just a little tiny bit of water. Um, we did that about a week and a half, two weeks ago and now we're going to go ahead and cut the eggs and hopefully we have live babies here, hopefully. Um, there's also a wonderful video um, by Mutation Creation on YouTube that we watched. And so we're going to be pretty much imitating uh, what uh, Billy does in that video. And hopefully these, these little guys are okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whether or not they're okay, um, the pairing was a GHI Mystic male to a normal female. So we might have four combinations, either GHI Mystic, GHI Plain Mystic, or Normal. <laughs> so we're hoping for uh, GHI Mystics, but you never know. Okay, well we're gonna go ahead and cut our first egg. So we're gonna just make sure that that's nice and tight across there so we don't accidentally cut a snake. And just like everybody here. else on their video says, oh, the veins, that's normal. Oh, man. Whoa. It's GHI. That's GHI in there. I don't know if it's... Uh, that's pretty color. Yeah. Okay, so as we cut these, we're going to be setting them back, because they're going back in the incubator. Oh, we're also to going <laughs> to add a little bit of water by hand into the eggs. So we're going to just do these one by one. Did you poke him, make sure he's moving? Yeah, I, actually I didn't, <laughs> but he looks alive. Well, we'll do that later. <laughs> yeah, he looks, he definitely looks alive. Okay, here's our second one. So another reason why we're cutting these eggs is that the shells have actually hardened up quite a bit and we're afraid that the snakes won't be able to get out on their own. Um, yeah, normally we probably wouldn't be doing this. Oh, another pretty GHI. Well, I hope, I hope these are okay. Yeah, I hope so. Doing anything? Yeah, oh. he's moving. Yes. I think. Looks like it. Hooray. Please be okay, babies. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, let's do another one. So the blood is normal. The eggs have veins on them. So that's not from the snakes. That's from the egg shells. Just want to throw that out. Just in case. Yeah, just in case people think we're hurting the snakes. We're not. What we got? This one's a little darker. Kind of looks normal. Yeah, I can't really tell. There's still, definitely still a little growing to do, I think. In there. Three to go here. And we do have one egg that we're not sure about. We're saving that one for last. It's kind of off to the side here. Oh, 
That one's that one, definitely, that one <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely alive. That one. Ooh. Oops. Can't tell what we've yeah, got. Yeah, I can't really tell. It, it sort of looks normal. It's got a stripe down its back. Yeah, that's a nice little stripe. Yeah. <laughs> Peaky pee. Yep. Yay, this is exciting. Mm -hmm. I see movement in this one. This one's moving. Hooray. Yeah. I think they're really close to being ready to hatch, so yeah, they probably I think will be so. coming out soon. I mean, it, it would be time for them to come out anyway, especially since she probably laid them yeah, several before days we before thought, we got yeah, them. I think so, too. I think they were there before we knew it. Ooh, another GHI. Pretty babies. Hope you guys are okay. Uh-huh. Is that one doing anything? I'm not sure yet. I'm trying to get a little movement here. I think so. Well, they definitely look fine. I mean, yeah, I think we're okay. We're gonna have to rearrange this whole thing yeah. when we put them back in. Okay, one more good egg here, and then we'll we've got one more after this that might not be good. But maybe we can at least see what's inside. Ooh, another pretty baby. So right now, I can't really tell the difference between um, the different morphs. Because yeah. some of these that look kind of normal, they could be mystic, but since I'm not very good at identifying that yet, we'll probably have to get some other opinions. Okay, and then here's our last egg. This one happens to icky. be, yeah, this one I don't think is okay. <laughs> we saved it till last because it kind of went funny color and it's, it's a pied aid egg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trying to find the humor, right? Ugh. Ooh, I don't know. I can't tell. There's definitely a baby There's a in, thing there. in there. There's a thing in there. Doesn't uh, quite. No, I think it is. I think it's what? fine. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's moving. Well, why is it? Why, why is, is that it so light? So? I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Huh. It's weird. Because when I pulled against it, it. Weird. What I is? I don't know. Maybe not. It's got a. It's a solid it, color, and it's got a little stripe down its that back. That would. That would be a. Uh, GHI Mystic. But I don't know. If it is. If it's gonna make it I mean, it that's or not. pretty light, though. It's so tiny, yeah. and there's so much egg matter oh. left in there. Was it moving? No, oh. I don't know. I don't think it is, but we're definitely gonna oh. hang on to it for a little bit. Man. I don't know, I can't tell. Weird. Yeah, it's moving. What? Look. It's moving. See it? Yeah. Yeah, he's moving. <laughs> Weird. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That's oh, crazy. Man. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, this is so exciting. Unfortunately, there's no guarantee that they're all still going to be okay. We we got to wait for them to come out of the egg on their own. Yeah, we're going to get so these. So hopefully they will do that soon. We had all these sponges in here to kind of Whoops. up my the fault. humidity because we were so worried about them. We can take those out now and they can go back in the incubator, but you can see their colors coloring up a little more. Look at that one. Wow. Oh, so exciting. Oh, that one's moving. Yay. See him? <laughs> he's oh, yeah. moving a lot. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, he's thinking about coming out. Hey, come out, babies. <laughs> I know. I Especially you, come out. They're about ready to hatch. This oh, was so much fun. Yes. Well, that's exciting. Thank you, Mutation Creation, for your video. It really did help us a lot. Um, can't thank you enough for that. And Colleen, thank you so much. You were a lifesaver for us. We couldn't have done this without your help. Colleen at um, Moab Dragons and Exotics. You guys need to go follow her. She's amazing. Also, thanks to Earl, because he put in his two cents, too. <laughs> <laughs> Earl at Treasure Valley yeah, Reptiles, um, or whatever his thing is. I think it's Treasure Valley <laughs> Reptiles. <yeah>. Sorry, Earl. <laughs> <laughs> An afterthought there. Yep. <laughs> well, thanks, guys, for watching.